Hello and welcome to CVAT Academy, your go-to training hub for mastering data annotation with CVAT. In this video, we will demonstrate how tag and attribution labeling works in a practical setting. We'll label an image following precise guidelines and practice tag and attribute annotation modes to speed up the process. We'll open the guide to review the instructions for annotation. This task includes three classes, person, which needs to be annotated using a bounding box, and indoor and outdoor, which should be assigned as tags. If the image was taken indoors, it should be tagged as indoor, and if taken outdoors, as outdoor. The bounding box should precisely enclose the person without cutting off body parts or leaving gaps. Reflections in mirrors, mannequins, statues, and images of people should not be annotated. When annotating each person, several attributes must be assigned. Gender is specified if it can be determined. Clothing is classified by sleeve length, short or long, and type of bottom wear, pants, shorts, skirt. The presence of shoes, headwear, and glasses should also be recorded. If an attribute is not visible, NA is assigned. Let's start with the simplest step, tag annotation. To do this, we switch to tag annotation mode. We enable automatic frame switching when applying a tag and begin tagging. To quickly assign tags, shortcut keys for each class are displayed on the right. Press one for indoor and two for outdoor. The first frame was taken indoors, press one to tag it as indoor. The second frame was taken outdoors, press two. The next frame is indoors again, press 1. We continue applying tags for all remaining frames. Tag annotation is now complete. We return to the first frame and switch to standard annotation mode. Now we need to annotate all people using bounding boxes. To do this, we align the red guidelines extending from the cursor with the object's outermost points, place the first point, and repeat on the opposite side. It is crucial to avoid gaps and ensure no body parts are cut off. Objects held in a person's hands should not be included in the bounding box. Following this method, we annotate all people in all frames. Bounding box annotation is now complete. Returning to the first frame, we now need to assign the correct attribute values to each person. We switch to attribute annotation mode. In this mode, we can zoom in or out on the object to adjust the area of interest. To do this, we modify the attribute annotation mode zoom margin setting. We set it to 20 for a strong zoom. Now we begin attribute annotation. As with tag annotation, we can use numeric keys to assign values. The available options are listed on the interface. Let's annotate all attributes for this person. Gender. Based on body shape, it's clearly a male. Press 1 to set male. Top wear. The sleeves are short, so we press 1 to set short sleeves. Bottom wear. The person is wearing shorts. Press 3 to set shorts. Shoes. Shoes are visible. Press 1 to set yes. Headwear and glasses, the head is obscured, so we leave both attributes as NA. Attribute annotation for this person is complete. For the remaining people in the frame, we will use a slightly different approach. We will annotate one attribute at a time across all individuals in the frame. Since we have already annotated the first person, we move to the second one by pressing tab. We start with gender. The next person is also male. Press one to assign male. Press tab to switch to the next person. Assign male again by pressing 1, and continue. When we reach a female, press 2 to assign female. We continue annotating gender for all people. The last object we encountered was an indoor tag. To avoid distractions, we filter out all objects except those labeled person. We continue attribute annotation, top wear. We focus only on sleeve length and assign short sleeves by pressing 1, long sleeves by pressing 2, or N may if sleeve length is unclear. We proceed through all people in the frame using tab. Bottom wear. We analyze the lower body and assign the appropriate attribute. If the legs are hidden below the knee, we set N A. Shoes. We check if the person is wearing shoes and assign yes or no. If unclear, we leave it as N-A.
headwear and glasses. We repeat the same approach focusing on each attribute separately. Attribute annotation for all people in this frame is now complete. This method helps focus on one attribute at a time. When switching between people, we look only for the relevant detail. If we are checking for glasses, we focus on the face. If checking sleeve length, we focus on the arms. This approach speeds up decision making. We continue annotating the remaining frames using this method. We have completed the project annotation covering all steps, applying tags, annotating people, and assigning attribute values. By using shortcut keys and a structured approach, we have streamlined the process and minimized errors. Now all images are fully annotated according to the requirements. We hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.